when we went to Club Live, he was like, guess where we're going tonight? I'm like, where? He's like, to PD's house. I'm like, oh, really? I'm like, that's crazy because I hear a lot about PD. And I'm like, his house for what? Like, to go sing? He's like, no, he's throwing this wild party. Da, da, da. I'm like, oh, okay. So we went from Club Live. It ended at, like, the clubs end at, like, three or four, and not two, like how out here is. So we waited around the mansion, the prince's mansion, for about an hour. And then as soon as 6.30 hit, we went. We all got in the car, like a big Uber, and um, me and all the other girls now, mind you, I'm the only black girl. So I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm about to meet Pete. Oh, you know, like, I'm probably going to have to sing for him. Da, da, da. And I just tried to, like, keep my composure. So we get there, and that's when stuff got weird. <laughs> and that's why they lock up our phones, because they know what we see in there. You know, it's he, he can get in trouble, like right now. December of 22. Oh, yeah, about to be 22. December of 22, you were here. Mm -hmm. You did our first interview. You were just some girl that I met through a friend. Right. And you were doing this interview, and you mentioned something about... I accidentally mentioned it, too. Like, it slipped out. About P. About P. You went to one of his parties. Yeah. Crazy party. And uh, he's in the news now because of all the... Scandal. And they didn't believe me. But when it started, like, when it started coming out, people were, like, mentioning me, like, you were telling the truth about it. And I'm like, duh, I'm not going to lie about something like that. And I, I kind of, like, tried to briefly talk about it because I knew it wasn't going to seem true because it was just too much. It was too, too crazy. Many. It was too crazy. People were going to think that I was just lying. It had like a lot of people involved, celebrities and stuff. So I was trying to be real vague about it. But that party traumatized me. How did you get invited to it? By being with a prince um, that I met in L.A. He lived in Glendale, California. And, um, you know, long story short, I got out of this crazy little contract and I was looking for somebody to invest in me. And I knew somebody who knew somebody that was like, I want to introduce you to a prince. He know a lot of celebrities, that are producers and stuff. So I never put two and two together that this prince knew Pete. And you the say producer. a prince, prince of what? Um, he was from, he was a Arabian prince. Really? Yes. Wow. And he really was a prince for real. But I wasn't worried about him being a prince. I was worried about who he actually knew. So when he invited me to, um, he met me, he said, I want to invite you tomorrow to uh, Music Ultra Week, whatever. And it's like an event, uh, Ultra Music Week. It's like an event for like two weeks where people party, 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 including people. And they party at Club Live. Um, they party at like just in South Beach, Star Island, like where people stays or throw his offs at. And... I never knew that we were going to go there because I was there for two weeks and I knew it was something fishy. He kept saying, I got a surprise for you. I got a surprise for you. I'm like, but I'm only supposed to stay for two weeks and I'm here longer than three, I mean, than two weeks. And it was almost a month. It was basically a month by then. And he was like, no, because I just want you to meet one special person. So he ended up telling me, like, when we went to Club Live, he was like, guess where we're going tonight? I'm like, where? He's like, to P house. I'm like, oh, really? I'm like, that's crazy because I hear a lot about P.D. And I'm like, his house for what? Like, to go sing? He's like, no, he's throwing this wild party. Da, da, da. I'm like, oh, okay. So we went from Club Live. It ended at, like, the clubs end at, like, three or four, and not two, like how out here is. So we waited around the mansion, the prince's mansion, for about an hour. And then as soon as 6.30 hit, we went. We all got in the car, like a big Uber. And um, me and all the other girls. Now, mind you, I'm the only black girl. So I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm about to meet Pete. Oh, you know, like, I'm probably going to have to sing for him. Da, da, da. And I just tried to, like, keep my composure. So we get there, and that's when stuff got weird. <laughs> and that's why they lock up our phones, because they know what we see in there. 
you know, it's he he can get in trouble like right now. So basically, so we arrived, security guard patted us down. They put our phone in this little bubble case. So the bubble case is closed. They can't get unlocked until we walk out. So as we're in there, the only way of us taking any type of pictures is if we get in the photo booth. He has like a team love photo booth or whatever. Take like four pictures. So I, you know, got pictures. I still got everything in my snap too, like of the photos, everything. That's all you could get. So I'm walking around or whatever. So one of his sons, I'm not going to tell you which one, but it was like recruiting like whoever they wanted to go inside the house. Cause the back, the is inside the house and in the backyard. So you have the pool, and they're playing loud house music. Like, Mark, the house music, it makes you feel kind of woozy, first of all, because it's like a rave or something. Dun, 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 dun. And it's real loud, so you can't really see nothing, but you're seeing everybody, like, walking around, drunk, hopping around. It's still 7 a.m. So the sun is, like, coming up, and people are walking around, period. Let's get into it. They're walking around already, and they're in the pool dipping, and they're drinking mimosas in the pool, but then it's like a waitress walking around giving people drinks, just passing people drinks, you know, and people are just taking them. Me, I don't drink like that, but I'll, I'm like an occasional drinker. Like, I'll drink if we're partying or whatever just for that occasion So because people are going to keep saying, drink, drink, drink. But I didn't take a sip a drink of a drink yet. But I just had it in my hand. So one of the sons seen me walking. Mind you, I'm with other girls, but we split up. So I was walking with one girl. She's a Puerto Rican girl. So Pete's son was like, you. And I'm like, me or her? And then he was like, no, you. Come here. So I went to him, and he gave me some shoes. So these shoes was like some um, terry cloth, like robe shoes, white shoes. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do with these? He was like, go in the house with these. He was like, everybody who gets these shoes, you get to go in the house. But I'm thinking you could just go in the house if you want to, but everybody can't go in the house. They're literally selectively picking who they want. So I'm like, well, what about my friend? He was like, no, only you. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm holding the shoes. I'm walking around. You know, I'm a good, loyal friend. I'm not going to go inside a house where they say my friend can't go. So we just walking around mingling. But we tripping out, looking at everybody like they off everything smoking and jumping around like hooligans. And so I seen people or whatever, and I seen him with the prince. I'm not going to say what he was doing, but something really, I get real nervous. <laughs> something real crazy because I don't like to really expose people. I could talk about me, but when it's about, like me and my family because it's us. But when it's other people, bro, doing something real, well, that's all I'm going to say. Um so that we can see and so that we can get on, okay? So he's doing something with himself. And I'm like, <laughs> girl, do you see him? She's like, yes, but mind you, we're screaming like, girl, do you see him? Oh, my God, because of the music. And I'm just like, whatever. Then he starts to act like really obnoxious, like, I'm the king of the world, jumping around, doing all this stuff. So I'm like, okay, that's regular people. But what got me was how he walked up to me and was like, why are you not in the house? And I'm like, what do you mean? He like, how are you enjoying my house? So we had a little talk or whatever. He started talking about all these things. Oh, yeah, you're the one that, you know, I seen was telling me about the prince. He's like, um, oh, yeah, um, it's very nice to meet you. Like, your life is not going to be the same. Da, 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 da. They, we started talking about going to Cuba. Are you going to Cuba with us? I'm like, what? And that's the thing. I didn't really know about this. So this is when I start asking around or whatever. And I said that in the last interview. But to get to the point, I ended up going in the house because he was on me, like, going to that house. I'm like, okay. And then the person that he was dating at that time, we're not going to say her name, but we all know, she came and was, like, looking at him like, what are you doing? Because he was talking to me for too long. So she came to, like, rub on his shoulders or whatever, and he just pushed her. And I'm looking like real uncomfortable, like, oh, I know what this is about. I don't want to be in the middle of there or whatever. So that's what made me go into the house because I'm like, okay, let me just go in the house. So I tell my friend, like, wait right here, girl. Let me just put on these shoes, see what this house is about. Walk up in there. I don't judge people because at the time I was just smoking. But you know when people are out of their mind and you know when people – you know what you don't want to be a part of. And it's just like I'm seeing stuff that you see on the movies. I'm, this corner, this got going on. This corner, they over here doing this. This corner, they over there having 
this corner, I'm just going to say, because I don't know what I can say, because I'm not trying to be incriminating myself, but they were dressed up like little Harajuku Barbies. Like what? Little people, okay? We're not going to say what type of little people, but like a fish. And I'm looking like, what are they doing here? Like dressed up, little um, red lipstick, like they weren't supposed to be there. But I'm just looking like maybe it's some type of production going on. But why would they be at this party at 7 o'clock in the morning with grown people? Like why Why would they be here? So I was just like, okay, whatever. Like, <laughs> But then when I'm looking in this corner, this corner, this person laid out, and I'm looking like, what's going on? Then I'm seeing like Instagram models or whatever. I'm like, oh, hey. So I'm kind of getting distracted, feeling like kind of comfortable. Like she's here. Oh, my gosh, she's here. And then I see people, you know, walking through the house like with his eyes on me. Like, you know, like. Is this, you know, you see, like, are are you agreeing with this? Is this is, and I don't. Now, mind you, I still got my friend out there. So I walked out of the house and I'm telling her, like, oh my God, bitch. like, this is, this is, oh my God, you should, she like for real. But I'm just like, I'm not even tripping, like, oh well, like, this is weird, like, you know? So I'm really looking at the situation, like, I don't even want to be involved in this type of stuff because once I see something, I can't get it out of my mind. And I'm like a hypochondriac. Like, I keep on having flashbacks about it. So, whatever. So, of course, I come out, and then here he goes again. And another rapper, well-known rapper, comes and starts on me like, hey, you. So now it just seems like everybody is faded at this point. They're either drunk or on all the obviously, with this house music. So now I just feel, like, trapped in. Like, I don't like it. And I know the when I see it. Because by me being so spiritual and tapped in, I know when something is not right, I'm not judging, but I just don't want to be a part of it because how am I going to get out of this shit? Like, I'm already here, and then I heard conversations or whatever, and then people was like, that's the one that I want. That's I want her. So now I feel like, you know, they plotting on me, like, did you bring me here on purpose? Like, is this the, you know, producer you was talking about? And I came here specifically with the Prince to rub elbows with people, to network for um, the music week. But then I put two and two together like, the Prince have been saying your life is never going to be the same. You're going to be happy. Somebody's expecting you. And I just feel like that was the time that I was going to get sick or, you know, or, or, or something like that. And then they kept trying to make me. Like, I've been around celebrities before. If a rapper wants you or somebody wants you, they're not going to do it. They're going to send somebody else to do it. So if a waitress is coming or another girl or a pretty girl or a guy, they'll sick somebody on you. Like, take this drink. Do this. Do that. And then you just feel eyes on you, like, watching to see if you're going to do it, when you're going to do it. So I already know what time it was. And it's crazy because I had to leave that place. In my last interview, I told you I had to escape. I had to leave from the prince because he was telling me we was leaving for Cuba the next day. Cuba with who?